Hi everyone, I'm Robinson. In this video, I'm going to talk about all Eden and Eddie's games for the GBA. Eden and Eddie Jawbreakers is a horrible game. Like many other tie-in games, this one is a platformer too. But I wish they made the game a stereotypical platformer. Instead, they screwed up a tried and true formula. I mean, if it was a regular platformer, I would have called the game boring and went on with it. But instead, they had to screw this up. So, in the game you control each ad individually, and if you control one of them, the other two don't follow you, like in other games. Instead, you have to finish the level with each ad. You have to finish the level three times, and not only that you have to repeat the same stuff three times, but you're on a time limit too. If you lose the time limit, finishing three times will become a nice dream of yours. And this makes the game super annoying. It's nice that each character has special abilities, but the game never explains them. You're on your own to discover that one has double jump, one has a slingshot, one can destroy stuff, and only one can activate switches for some reason. Maybe the developers wanted people to hate the game. Also, aside of Ed, the other two characters control like shit, which makes the platforming part a pain. There are so many frustrating jumps and the reason they are frustrating is because of how bad the controls are. Hit detection is also bad, so overall avoid the game. It's clunky, frustrating and a mess. Add and Eddie the Misadventures is better, because now you don't have to repeat a level with each ad. You can still switch between ads, but the good part now is that when you control one of them, the others follow you. Once again, each Ed has their own abilities. Ed can use his head to destroy stuff or use his strength to move stuff around. Ed can shoot water balloons with his slingshot. And Eddie can throw stink bombs that for some reason can only hurt dogs. And they control different. Ed can run through enemies. Ed can jump higher. And Eddie can make himself taller. Also, the three can work together to solve puzzles. As for the gameplay, it's a collectathlon. You have to collect as many pennies as you can to buy jawbreakers, and there are also hidden jawbreakers in the levels. The gameplay is super easy, it's pretty hard to die in the game, and even if it seems like a linear stereotypical platformer, the game offers enough mechanics to distinguish itself from other games of this sort. So overall, I suggest you to avoid jawbreakers and stick only to the misadventures. Misadventures is a pretty good game, not just for tie-in standards, but for normal game standards too. It can feel repetitive and basic, but the game is still fun. And what I like about it is that it tries to be unique. It's not a stereotypical platformer. It tries new stuff. And it succeeds. Though, for the most part, it still remains a pretty basic platformer. But a fun one, nonetheless. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and then reveal thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.